Todd. Uh, just working on some videos for hidescience.org. Uh, this one right here, we're going to focus on density. Specifically, we're going to focus on finding the mass. A little different than we did in the years past, we're going to rearrange the formula first. For many of you, this is the first time that you kept up with your units, so it can kind of miss and kind of confuse them. But if we go ahead and rearrange this formula here before we plug in numbers uh, to fit our needs, it kind of helps it be a little less messy. So that's what we're going to do today. Again, we're going to look for the mass, assuming that we have the density and the volume to use. Here I have this like a, I guess a little prompt going here. It says find the mass with 2.5 grams per mil um, and 20 milliliters. This could be any question. It could be a paragraph long question. It could be whatever asking you to find it. It doesn't matter. Uh, you know, don't get confused about what's there. Look for things that you can, you know what it means and you know you can work with. And what I mean by that is numbers and these units with them. These units tell you a lot. It tells you what you need to know about the unit or about the number. It doesn't matter what all the words say. If you know what these units mean, you know what you're dealing with, and you can do some work. Now, speaking of units for density, we got three variables. We got density, mass, volume. Grams is the unit for mass. So if you see grams, and it could be in any form, it could be you know kilograms, micrograms, whatever you got. That's going to be mass. So when you see that G for grams, you should be ding, 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 ding. That's a mass right there. I know I can do something with that. Other one is volume. It's going to be your liter or your cubic meter. Now, for us in physical science, what you're going to see most of the time is milliliter, which is ml, or centimeters cubed. And finally, down here we have density. Density is defined as how much mass is in a volume. I'll pack together that mass is in a unit volume, which is for us usually a cubic centimeter. So the, the unit for this is going to need both of them. So right here we have grams per liter, usually grams per milliliter for us, or grams per meter cubed. It matches. It matches the formula. So we're going to use this knowledge to solve for M. So we've got a formula ready here. Uh, we've got our density. Our mass. Our volume. There are two sides to this equation, separated by the equal sign here. I'm going to put a dotted line in. This symbolizes there's two sides. To solve for a variable, we need that variable to be alone. What I mean by that is we need it to be either on this side of the equation with nothing else, kind of like the V is right now, or this side of the equation with nothing else with it. Right now, our mass has a volume on the same side, so it's not ready to solve. So we need to move some stuff. We need to work through our, our equation, follow our rules until we get to that point. I like to say, do the opposite action of what is already there. And, and you should be good with that. So let's read the equation, left to right, top to bottom. This says density equals mass divided by volume. So our action there is divided by. So instead of doing mass divided by volume, we're going to do the opposite of that which is mass multiplied by volume. Right. And then whatever we do to one side, we must do to this side over here. So if we multiply this side by V, we got to multiply this side by V too. There's nothing there between them. We always assume you know, multiplication of two variables next to each other. So now we have a volume in the denominator. Right. I can kind of extend this out a little bit. And we have a V, or a volume variable, in the numerator. And we know if I have something in the numerator, and it matches something in the denominator, that I can get rid of. I can cancel it out of one. So that's going to be gone. So now we're going to be left with volume times density equals mass. Now we have our mass isolated on one side of the equation. So if we plug in a volume and a density, Multiply those together and we'll get our mass. That's what we're going to do now. Our volume unit is here. So we see milliliters. That's going to indicate to us that this is our volume. But hey, there's a milliliter right there too, right? So you're thinking maybe I'll plug that in for the volume. But 
There's another unit here. This is grams per milliliter. How much gram grams per milliliter? This is not a sole volume measurement. This is a sole volume measurement or unit. We're going to plug it in here. 20 mils. Now we need our density. So this here, it has a mass unit and it has a volume unit, just like our density formula. So we know, hey, there's our density number right there. We're going to plug it in right here for this D. So 25 grams per mil. Okay. Quotient. Now we're going to solve it. Before we solve, let's check to see if anything cancels. Sometimes we make life a little easier by, by reducing some fractions down, canceling out units, stuff like that. Um, so we can kind of make like a line here. We can always assume every number is like itself over one. Like for example, you know, two, we can always represent two as two, or we could represent two as two over one. So we always got this like denominator here that we don't tend to think about. So in our denominator, we have milliliter and milliliter. We got the same thing in the numerator as the denominator, same thing on top and bottom. Let's get rid of it. Now we have 20 times 25 grams. Um, I'm sorry. 20 times 2.5 grams. Must forgot about decimal. That's not a good thing to do. So make, sure, make sure you get your decimals in there. All right, so 20 times 2 is 40, plus another half of 20 is going to give us 50. So we're going to have 50 equals M. And then, this sucker right here, that grams did not get canceled out while ago. It's the only unit we got left. It's in the numerator. I'm going to pull it down here. So our mass is 50 grams. So I hope this helps you out when you're trying to solve for mass using your density formula. Stay away from that density triangle. Stay away. That's it for high science. Check out some more videos. Uh, let me know what you want me to make so I can help you out. Uh, see you later.